nightmares in my head I fear That the thoughts build up until I can't hear That my mind fills up into a creature And it haunts me somewhere much deeper Anxiety filling up every space, no privacy And silently it could build and build until you finally see Whoa, it's taking over, damn no closure, moving closer I had my first real racist encounter with a white man a few hours ago. So this is fresh. My emotions are also fresh, but I still feel like it's the best time to do this. He's my neighbor, a hardworking man. I've been living in this house for 17, 18 years. This man saw me grow up since the age of nine. He owns a bakery next door with his wife. And last year, he started renting two public parking spots for his shop. And this morning, my sister forgot to move her car. It's not the first time, I'll admit that. He came knocking on our door like an enraged Neanderthal. And when my 70 plus year old dad opened up the window from his bedroom, he was called an idiot, an imbecile. As soon as he noticed me from my window, he started speaking Dutch instead of French. I also speak Dutch, by the way. I live in Belgium. And then he goes on his racist rampage. You're all the same. You can't integrate yourselves. This is why people hate you in this country. You guys sit here and do nothing. I have to live from my bakery. I'm a Nikki nurse, by the way. I work night shifts. And he knows that. Europeans love to shit on Americans, but wait till you hear them talk about Africans. When my sister was standing in front of his door five minutes later, he started apologizing and even came and rang our doorbell again to apologize to my father. But that's not the point. When he was on this racist ramble, he looked like a demon. I could hear the two generations before him speak just as loud as he was standing there in front of me, his parents and his grandparents. This was his occasion to let it all out. The man I've known for years is nothing but a shell. All he needed was a little push. My parents haven't birthed a single jobless child. All of us have higher education degrees and we're a football team of kids. Literally. Yet, to him, we're all doing nothing while he has lived the life of the most hardworking man in the world. I'm the youngest of my family. I'm 27. I speak French and Dutch fluently, both of Belgium's official languages. I'm a nurse. I take care of babies. But that didn't matter. His perception of black people, which many people in Belgium share, by the way, never changed and probably never will. We are making it in society with borrowed kindness. That man went as far as saying his own customers feel bad that he has to live next to black people. He put his own customers on blast to make a point. I work twice as hard to be perceived as a nice person and a good nurse. Do you know the pressure of being a black nurse taking care of white babies in a predominantly white country where people fight for this to remain a tradition? One misunderstanding, one wrong move, one misinterpretation, and the burden of that situation will be carried on to the black community as a whole. Don't get me wrong, I pamper all my babies and all my moms, but white babies? Especially when the parents speak Dutch? I pamper them with tweezers. Um, I'm sorry, I might just need a moment, but I do all of this just to end up being called lazy, useless, and a waste of space because of a parking spot. I have to be extra sweet, gentle, and kind everywhere I go. Otherwise, it'll be these black women aren't feminine. They're always angry. This is my daily life. Talking to men in general already scares the shit out of me, but talking to a white man? What if he flips one day? If it's not him, who is it around him? How and by who was he raised? How were his friends raised? Who does his family vote for and why? What did they talk and joke about at family gatherings when I wasn't around yet? Don't worry, I know your fantastic, handsome, wonderful husband would never, but how do you take that leap of faith? My fear is real. I can't fathom the thought of being a minority in my own family, my own home, my own bedroom. What if he asks me for race play one day? Imagine being made uncomfortable at dinner around Christmas time and you're the only black person there. This sounds like my worst nightmare. I even turned down this adorable guy called Benjamin because what if I get stuck? 
There were other things, so please don't tell me to call him. I don't want my partner to have to fight for me or defend our love. I just want peace. I don't want to go through all these additional measures on top of my usual screening. I know people will say not to generalize, but frankly, I don't care. We're talking about my safety, my mental health, and my well-being. I come first. What you call reverse racism might end up with you having a bad day. Because of racial bias, I'm four times more likely to die in childbirth. I'm more likely to be misdiagnosed or have a delayed diagnosis. I'm more likely to be discriminated against when looking for employment. My children will probably inherit from my generational trauma. And on top of that, I might get killed. The fight that I'm in for women on this page is already hard enough. But my intersectionality makes that in my daily life, I have to struggle with the combined load of racism, sexism, misogyny, fat phobia, and on top of that, racial bias from other minorities, which doesn't even make sense to begin with. Sometimes I just need a break. I need a break.